morning friends we're back for part 10 of summer country diary this one's going to take some concentration so i have locked the cat out i will not be doing any sewing i will not be doing any camera adjustments so hopefully everything will stay in frame without problems so what we have here is page 82 and 87 and um, got a little scrap of tea dyed tissue paper and a scrap of acetate. Those are things we're going to be using. So what I want to make is a miniature CD envelope. So there is a template and um, it's at www.homemadegiftsmadeeasy.com. There's lots of dashes. Um, when you go to that website, you can't find it. But I will put a link below so that you can download this if you choose. Or maybe you want to make your own square envelope. Um, this one I just printed right on the back of page 82. I reduced the size of the uh, print to 75% um, in order to get this small square. So this square measures just about three and a quarter inches. And let's get some scissors going here and chop this out. I can get around the corner. <laughs> so just cut right on the solid lines. I even cleared off my desk and got all of my tools ready because I don't want any mustn't or fussing to distract from the concentration that we require for this. And it, I mean, I'm being a little dramatic. Uh, it's not really that difficult. It's just maybe something I haven't done before, so I'm a little concerned. <laughs> uh, but you do need to make sure that you um, reduce the print size. So test it on plain paper first before you ruin your one and only page if you have a one and only. Just looking to see if there's anything I want to. I will save that. The rest can go to recycle fill. Okay. So there is some faint gray lines and I'm just you could use a ruler and uh, a stylus or whatever but I'm just going to gently use my mini scoreboard here. I don't want to cut right through the paper.
Now, Run a little crooked there. Good. There we have our little square. Let's get some ink going before we go too much further. to the front. And I purposely chose this um, page because it's um, there's not a lot of color. It's green and white. Um, not a lot of directionality, so um, it's a uh, flexible. Come on, you. First part is done. Now, we need to cut a circle. If you have a die that you can use to cut a circle, great, I don't. Um, I have a two and a half inch punch, but this will not go in the punch. So what I've done is I've just taken a piece of cardstock and um, cut a piece. And on the back, I'm just going to kind of find the center. I'm going to use my exacto knife to cut this. When you're cutting with the exacto, don't lift the knife. Keep the knife embedded and just turn the piece on the glass. And I'm not too concerned that it's not going to be perfect, a perfect circle. Um, as I often say, ink will hide a multitude of sins. Okay. 
So there's a couple of rough areas. Big deal. I need a piece of acetate um, so this as I said the that little envelope is about three inches square three and a quarter inches square more or less Glitter glue. I'm just going to go around the circle on the back. And then on the square edge. Just because I don't want it interfering with pulling tags in and out. Okay. So I'm not going to glue this together yet. I'm going to wait and give it a couple minutes to dry just so we don't have any sticking okay now let's make a tag for the inside and I've chosen this one so I'm trying to see where where I'd like to, what I'd like to be showing through the window. So, I think I'm going to go up here with this pink stuff. <laughs> and so again, I want it. More or less three and an eighth by three and an eighth square. I'm going to try to avoid cutting either of the dragonflies.
So I'm going to cut a piece of, you know, one of the wordy ones, three and an eighth by three and an eighth. And I won't be sewing this, although if you want to sew, you certainly can. Stick this in before I wreck it. Anybody see where I put my tissue paper? Okay. So, in order to cover this to make um, a good place for writing, I'm just going to tear a piece of tissue paper. And I'm lining it up on my um, board here so that it's more or less square. Can be a very narrow perimeter of that card showing so I'm putting this right at the three inch mark and this this tear ruler I'm using is just a little plastic ruler that I got you know it came with our old-fashioned math sets remember when we had to have math set every year for school and uh, I took a pair of needle nose pliers and just chopped some hunks out of it so that it'd be good for tearing. And I'll grab my glue stick. two layers because that's really that's really dark isn't it oh I know I've got more around here too much stuff on my desk. Yeah, I'm kind of disappointed that that's not going to work.
This might actually enhance the look. Who knows? That's better. I deserve a slurp of coffee for that. Um, to make this easier to get in and out, I think I'm gonna do a little corner rounding. So it's not. Oop. Whoop. Sorry about that. So it's not so sticky. I locked the cat out this morning. I'm surprised he's not slamming his body against the door because this is his this is his hour of need. <laughs> he just wants attention first thing in the morning. Well, he wants attention many times during the day, but first thing in the morning, oh, that's very important to him. Okay, if you want to stitch around it, go ahead. Uh, if you want to stitch around this window, go for it. Okay, now, fortunately, you may not, this might not pick up in the video, but there's a little gray shadow area. It shows you exactly where you can adhere your glue. This will slide right in there. There's not enough room to add a tab, so I wouldn't. And there is your little mini CD window. Um, how are we doing for time? Oh, 24 minutes. Uh, so I think I'll stop for now and I'll come back right away and do another video of what we can do with this leftover bit. So I'm back just for a minute to show you that um, we didn't need to leave that envelope quite so plain. So I just used little bits and pieces that I um, just found on my desk leftovers from the project and fussy cut around them, ink them, and then glued them around the perimeter. I'm just sort of trying to get the the light to show you that they're on top of the, the acetate piece. So this little green leaf came from here. This little pink stalk came from here 
and I went right up as far as I could. And this little yellow hangy piece, um, that came from a bit of the leftover from the page that we used to make the envelope itself. Not the tag part, but the envelope part. Anyway, um, I'll put a photo on my Instagram so that you can take a closer look if you want to. And um, yeah, thanks so much for watching. We'll talk to you soon. Bye.